International airmail is a heck of a thing. Unassuming plastic bag with a tearaway... Uh... Okay, so maybe that's unrelated, opening the actual package. But that's what we invented knives for. Now, where were we? Oh, right, international airmail. Unassuming plastic bag wrapped around an unassuming manila envelope. I guess that's shock protection stacked on top of water protection, which in the case of international airmail is surely appreciated. And I hear you saying that's not much shock protection. You're absolutely right. But the contents of this unassuming brown box, wow, real understated right from the factory. Oh, two boxes. I guess let's open this one up real quick. U.S. plug and Chinese plug right in the same box, eh? They don't usually send both set of prongs. Usually they just include a janky adapter. Cable seems reasonably high quality too, at least for a tiny little barrel adapter power supply like this. So, the contents of this unassuming brown box. They're pretty shockproof themselves, given that while there is a laptop in here, it's... Huh. There are two of them. Apparently Yzma wound up as a fulfillment specialist at Pine64. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Yes, there's a laptop in here. It's the Pinebug Pro, and it's $200. Yes, yes, I know that's absurdly cheap for a laptop, but this paper just called me a piner. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Right, $200 laptop. As you can see, though, it's a tad unusual for a $200 machine. Oh sure, it's no gaming rig, but it does have a 6-core CPU, a 1080p display, and a chassis that's made of magnesium. The I.O. isn't bad either, with two USB Type-A ports, one of which supports USB 3.0 speeds depending on your OS, and a Type-C port that includes display output. You've also got a headphone jack, the barrel plug charging port, and a micro SD card slot that is, in fact, bootable. And that's an important detail, because in case you've never heard of Pine64, you should understand that this is about as far from a mainstream laptop as you can get. The CPU is an ARM Mali design, and the OS that it ships with is Linux. They partner with different communities for different manufacturing runs, which means you'll get a different OS depending on when you order. This one should have Manjaro already installed, but I can boot into other distros if I want via that micro SD card slot. And while the internal surfaces are plastic, the machine is still reasonably stiff, with not much deck flex below the keyboard. This trackpad's click is probably the worst initial impression, but at this price point, there have to be some sacrifices somewhere. As it sits, I'm prepared to say that this is the most premium-feeling laptop you can buy for under $400, and with the fact that the design is from an open-source community, I don't see how it could possibly be beat. Open-source design, with an open-source OS, means that Pine64 have essentially no profit margin. You buy this laptop at cost. As long as the user experience doesn't turn out to be a garbage fire, that's a pretty hard value proposition to beat. And they sell another version that's just $100, too.